Thousands rallied against gun safety legislation Monday in all, and of all places, the former capital of the Confederacy, Richmond, Virginia. It's a hell of a way, no, for the majority white attendees to honor Martin Luther King's message of nonviolence and peaceful resistance. No one has yet to report anyone getting shot or hurt, so good on them. Still, memo to American white men, gun violence is our burden. We first brought personal firearms to this continent 50, 500 years ago. Between 1861 and 1865, we used, we used them to kill 620,000 of ourselves. People of Caucasian ancestry are 60% of the reason for death and carnage in U.S. civilian life since 1982. These aren't my stats. These are, these are credible facts. People who look like me legally own twice as many guns in America as non-white men and nearly three times as many guns as women. The rally organizer in the Commonwealth Monday, a group most committed to ensuring AR-15s and other weapons of mass destruction can be obtained by anyone, is the Virginia Citizens Defense League. Referred to as right of the NRA, their president, Philip Von Cleve, showed up on HBO last year in a Sasha Baron Cohen skit, willingly endorsing a program called Kindergartians, in which three-year-olds were trained to shoot puppy pistols at the bad man. Von Cleve and his posse are against any bill that would ban any firearm part that effectively increases the rate of fire of a semi-automatic rifle, the weapon most used in mass shootings in this country. If you go by their Facebook photo, all 22 of the group's political action committee are white and 19 of them are white males. This is not liberal white guilt. It's right white shame. We started this bloodbath, we allow it to continue. And when another man, most likely white, opens fire and kills more of our loved ones, we steal ourselves, recite our right to own talking points, and demean the dead by, complete, by, by concluding that being able to purchase a, purchase a weapon designed to kill many people at once is just an inconvenient part of frontier liberty. What are we really afraid of? Someone taking away our guns or not being able to shoot someone we, not, we might not like on a given day? Whether you agree or disagree with my take, feel free to email me at mwise at wsa9.com or hit me up on Twitter at Mike Wiseguy. And happy MLK Day.